Hey guys, I have another nail tutorial for you today and it's this two-tone chevron design using one of my fall favorites. And that polish is right here. It's Less is Norse from the new OPI Iceland collection for fall 2017. It's one of my top 10 picks for fall and each fall I do a nail design for each one. I also use this OPI Don't Bossa Nova Me Around and it's one of my favorite OPI neutral shades. It's a gorgeous rosy pink with a neutral tone. So as you can see, I've done the design on all my nails except for the one that I'll be showing you today. And sorry, my skin's a little bit dry and you'll see that here on the video. But I'm just going to use these chevron stickers and these are from What's Up Nails and I'll have a link to them below. So you're just going to take those off and I like to do two or three nails at a time. So I like to set all of them aside and just attach them to the end of the table so they're really easy to grab. So you're just going to put that on your nail. You're going to do it almost all the way down so that you're covering up the tips of your nail with polish. So you just want to make sure you're down far enough. Just make sure that's pressed down really firmly so any polish doesn't get underneath. Okay, so if I'm doing a few nails at a time, I'm gonna go ahead and do all three of them this step at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this nude color on the bottom and make sure you're not going over the polish too much because it will dry a little bit as you're working. It will tend to drag. So if I was doing multiple nails at the same time, I would move on to the next nail with the same color. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna come back with your top color. And this polish has such great form. I do need to be careful though, it will bubble if you get it too thick. I did have a few bubbles in this one. So you're gonna go ahead and let that dry just for about 20 seconds and then move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna come in and do the second coat of my neutral color. And again, being careful not to go over it too much. And I don't want this to dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly and go in with the next color. So you're gonna do this on each nail if you're doing multiples. You're gonna come right in and do the next color and then after you're done painting that and of course making sure you get the tip, you're gonna go ahead and peel that sticker right off and then you can move to your other fingers and do the same thing. And you will get some polish on your finger and that's okay. You can go ahead and use a brush and some acetone and just clean that up. You can do this step on all your nails at the same time. Just make sure that you've given it a few minutes to dry. Um, that will give you the best results. I actually do have a video on how I paint my nails and I use this step every time I paint them and I'll put a link to that down below. You can also use this brush to clean up any lines. It always doesn't come out super perfect. So you can carefully smooth out any lines or as you can see, I'm using this smaller brush to make the uh, tip a little more pointed. And I am dabbing that brush on a towel just for a second to get a lot of the excess acetone off. Okay, now that you've had it dry, you can go ahead and add your favorite fast dry top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten & Glow. It's my favorite top coat. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this. I really enjoy the simplicity of this design. If you recreate it, tag me on Instagram so I can see it. Or use hashtag inspired by Go Polished. Thanks guys. Bye.